because uh, Noodles is running late, so okay, we won't be streaming his match just yet. I see. Hmm, I don't have a link to the bracket. I should go find it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. So Done. blazed, obviously, pretty well established for a player in Singapore, and Aoran was a. Uh, the uh, Cuckoo player from last week, he's a Terry main. Oh, so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he changed his tags due to, uh, you know... We, we don't like having weird slurs on our stream, you know. That, I do think the orange fits him better. I like that tag. Yeah, sounds a lot more... Tagish, like, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, it has a it, vibe, you know. It does. Feels more, feels more formal in a, in a tag way. Yeah, if that if you can even call it formality, it's yep. just more in line with what a tag should sound like. I think. True. So, but it also has this kind of like originality. It has a certain twist spin on it. Yeah, it has, it has that personality. You know, it's not just like someone's name. You know, whenever someone puts their name as their tag, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Yeah. Like, like you know, you you go through the what do you call it? You go through a bracket, and you're just looking at all of these weird tags, like a dark shadow 420 or something. Yeah. And like, big... and then just like randomly. Yeah, and then randomly there's just like Thomas, <laughs> Thomas is Steve Main, and you're like, what? He, his, his tag is just Thomas. He he puts railroads on the he puts rail rail carts. On the stage, yeah. He goes, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's why he <laughs> plays Steve, and he uses the minecart. Ah, uh, the good old what's it struggle of changing a tag? Everyone calls you by your old tag, dude. Everyone does. Everyone still call Prodigy Prodigy. I don't know. I I still call him Prodigy. Yeah, but in my mind, he's Karama. True, I, th I think we all have to take some time to get used to it. You yeah, gotta respect someone's mind, tag, you know. In my mind, Mirio is still Kyojuro. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't get it out of my head. Like, yeah, I, I either call him Kyojuro or I call him his real name, but I don't want to call him his real name on stream. So, right yeah. now we have Blaze and uh, Aoran. Yeah, Aoran. On stream. So, it's gonna be Roy versus Terry, most likely. So, what do you think about the matchup? Oh boy, Rory versus Terry. So, Rory's a little bit um of a shorter range sortie. He he almost doesn't play like a traditional sortie. He, he really doesn't. doesn't. Exactly, he doesn't exactly um uh space you out with his or try to win over you with his disjoints as much as the other characters do. The other sword characters do because he doesn't get very much reward off of outspacing someone very slightly. Yeah. So it's going to be on Blaze to make his approach, or perhaps, you know, do a button sequence that's difficult for ARN to deal with on shield or Yeah, something. definitely. It's definitely going to be a more aggressive look on the traditional swordy. Yeah, Roy, Roy in general is just quite an interesting character because he doesn't really play by the rules of a sword character. Yeah. He but he's, al he's also somehow, maybe, maybe, one of... Like the the best Fire Emblem sortie, because you know with Cola getting all the results recently, right? There there has been that talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, Cola also leans on the cloud a bit, and so it's kind of a little bit of a toss up to say that his results are solely based on Roy. But whenever he picks the character, it makes it look good. Yeah, definitely. Of course, Terry I think also is a very good character. Um, at least A tier, however big A tier is. A tier is kind of big, it has a lot of characters in it. Yeah. I, I think the, the interesting part about this game is that there's a lot of undeveloped characters which could theoretically all be A tier, so okay. in my opinion, maybe, like more than half the cast is in A tier. I don't know if everyone will agree with this, but this is just kind of just like my take. So I think most of the characters, they have some spice, you know. Yeah, that is true, that is true. I think one of the most uh, controversial ones, or like, well, one of the characters that I think people like put on and off of A tier a lot is Mewtwo. Uh huh. Mewtwo? Yeah. Okay. Shadow Ball is really strong. 
But anyways, getting to the match, yeah, as expected, it's the Roy versus the Terry. This is the first time I'm seeing a green Terry ever. I didn't know this alt existed in the game. Interesting skin. Baby, my guy works at Subway. Shout out to Subway. <laughs> and love your subs. Oh no. Is he gonna change skin? Is he going to dip out the Subway gang? Yeah, maybe he had a... Oh no, I guess not. Oh no. He's still rock rocking the Subway outfit. That's what I'm calling it from now on. <laughs> the uh, Subway Terry alt. Alright. I, I kind of miss eating at Subway. Oh boy. They can Ooh, get the final destination. Yeah, not a, not a traditional starter stage, but it looks like um I, I do believe I remember Aorin trying to go to the stage in the last set as well. Oh my gosh, he almost got that down here. Yeah. I don't know if I like Sorties on FD though. Because Sorties on FD to me is just kind of just like wasted potential. Unless you're playing against a character like Mario or like Ike, which like benefits exponentially on platforms. Mm-hmm. But then again, Roy is not the traditional sword, as we were discussing a while ago. Place yeah, that is, that is true. Oh boy, dash attack from Aaron. And now he has something of an edge card. I think he it's tried to stall with the power wave into like an aerial, but yeah. I, I don't think it worked out. I like the idea though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the up the Hummers through the, uh, I don't know what option that was, with the up. Uh, yeah. That's Ooh, and the Buster Wolf. Yeah, but the upbeat going to be important in this matchup because uh, Terry definitely is going to be putting on a lot of shield pressure with moves like down tilt and jab one and two. Oh wow! There's just the raw F smash after a spot dodge cancel. All yeah. right, one of the uh, signature Wi-Fi specials. Whoa! Up throw down air from Aaron. What a choice. Okay. Maybe and he's doing there... himself. Yeah. It might have worked. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Aaron going to find his uh, a charged up key. Down tilt even, usually get up into those. Even though Droy isn't a traditional swordie, he still has a disjoint in against a shodo, I think it's extremely important to like be able to just like even slightly outreach them. Right. Ever so slightly. Exactly. It's like the key to winning a matchup like this. So yeah, I'm getting in. Gonna have to see. Cause right now, Blaze is kinda just getting exploded on by your Aorin. Mm-hmm. But of course, we all but know that um, Roy does have that kill power to kill at this percent exactly. It yeah. may as well be an even game. Roy's a very scary character. Right. But so is Terry. And yeah, definitely. And that back air. Ooh, not gonna take it. Okay. Play's having a little bit of a hard time getting in. Gets spot dodge attacked on. Aaron going to take the stock at 180. This is a good look for him because if he gets into go percent and then finds his way back to neutral. Ooh, I think he lost his double jump. This is not looking good. Oh, but he gets off of the ledge. Buster Wolf after the neutral getup. This is huge for ARN. But a jump side B coming from Blaze. Ash retaliation. 31% on deck. Not the worst. ARN's actually getting a lot of his openings off of roll in, which Blaze has not been checking. Yeah. ARN's just been taking advantage of that. Again, oh. here, roll in down tilts. A lot of Shoto players often like to roll in against like most other characters to abuse the option. Wow, that two frame down air! Beautiful execution by Aaron. He was on point with the down air. He recognized that Blaze did not exactly make it perfectly to the ledge. His head stuck up a bit before he grabbed it. So Aaron was able to capitalize fully off of that mistake. Yep. The game was pretty much even all up until that point, I think. I think Blaze definitely needs to keep his keep his, keep his de defense in check a lot more. He's just kind of letting uh, AR get away with these like roll in down tilts a lot, which has been like the big opener for AR. And because normally, as a Shoto, you are not going to be able to find openings that easily against a character of any sort of disjoint, even if it's like not. A full disjoin? Yeah, I agree. So Although, right now... Yeah? I wonder what kind of stage they'll go to. Yeah. Yeah, but we've as you were saying... That, we've seen in the past that Aorin has a uh, preferred FD as a starter stage, so I'm wondering if Blaze is opting to pick a stage with platforms. He'll get access to the platform combos that he gets off of down throw, maybe down throw off protect chase. 
or down throw up air up air using the platform down throw tech chase into down air while Perry doesn't really get as much off of the platforms in terms of combo routes. Yeah. Count and city, alright. Right? Okay, I like Starting the Starting off with a quick, quick aggressive combo. 46%. Yep, and a ledge shaft to boot. Aorin going to roll in and get himself a down tilt. He wins the scramble, puts Blaze off stage, tries to go for the down air, does not quite hit the mark. Ooh, there's, there's quite a lot of lag spikes here. Whoa! Was that, air was that an air dodge read? I think it was. Yeah. Please. Can he make it back? Yes, he can. Bust AR and recoveries with the up B have been uh, really good in this set because he's been able to sweet spot around the neutral, neutral B. Raised, which is fairly hard to do, especially in this kind of connection. Almost going for the shield break. Aaron was wow. one down. Up tilt, Power Gazer is one of the scariest tools. Terry has his. Oh, this right there. The jab forward air. 94%. Yep, Blaze just kept his cool. Ooh, power... gets, gets Jab Jack power dung. Yeah, it's difficult to deal with that on shield, especially online. You don't have as much time to react to the pressure coming from the Terry. Yeah, I think it's just about having that confidence to press the uh, out of the out of shield. But right there, getting that big counter, building on some solid damage, and the leg spike combo. Yeah, sometimes you just get a moment to think about what you want to do next. It's a, one of the few moments where you, you kind of get like the art. You kind of get the hearthstone it. You're like, okay, what do I do here? This is my range of options. Uh, this is what I think my opponent's gonna do. Oh, this is no. what I think will beat what I think my opponent is going to do. This connection is looking really bad right now. <laughs> are we going to go to game and watch the dos, or are, are we just spec getting booted out of the spectate? I think we're. I think they're still playing. Are they? But we'll find out. If they are not still playing, it's time for the uh, fabled Game & Watch Dados. If the connection can't settle it, let your luck settle it. Ooh! Oh. It seems like Blaze has disconnected. It's time for the Game & Watch Dados. <laughs> so, All right. I actually, I'm kind of interested to hear why you wanted to implement this rule in your weeklies. Alright, he hear me out guys. So, as, as we all know, no, no one likes to play the back connection, right? So, I mean, obviously... If there was a fun way to resolve this issue in the Wi-Fi tournament, which no one is taking that seriously, I think that would be ideal. So uh, I looked at some other weeklies from other countries and I just saw this rule where uh, you would play Game & Watch Dittos if the, po if the connection was unsatisfactory. <laughs> so right now, we will see that both of the contestants swap to Game & Watch and both of them will be side being each other. One at a one set at a time, L letting uh, your luck be the the decider. <laughs> well, anyways, Blaze is going to be at an advantage in the game and watch dittos that ensue because he already he is, is a setup. Yes. No, we're not Blaze. Sorry, A A R N. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got the mix up. So right now we're just gonna wait for Blaze to come back. There he is. All right, game and watch Dittos. All I don't right. Yoren has already switched to game and watch. I'm not sure if he's aware of the rule. Is it an optional rule? No, it's compulsory. Oh my. Okay then. <laughs> if if someone disconnects, it's game and watch Dittos time. Do the play? Are the players aware of this though? I'm typing in their private Discord now. I see. Mm. I wonder if the stage pick is really going to affect the game and watch it though. I'm not really familiar with the meta of how that shakes out. The, the stage pick does matter, but the real thing that matters is, is your luck. <laughs> so right now, you're not allowed to do anything else. It looks like Noodles is asking if he's... Alright, right. Blaze is get letting uh, Aorin gentleman for the first side B, and both of them will just walk up to each other and side B. Huh, interesting. Alright. Side B? Okay. All right. An A. Ooh. I don't know about any sort of Game & Watch manipulation with the RNG, but I believe that you kind of have to wait until you get all the numbers before you get a 9. I... 
don't know about that. I don't think you need to. It's just kind of luck based. Oh, he did three. Yo. Is that is that how it works? Blaze just took three shots at him. Wow. Yeah, I didn't yet. Well, it's okay because none of them have gotten a nine yet. So now we're just patiently waiting. Oh my goodness. Both of them are at kill percent. They well, they're always at kill percent, my friend. Actually, yeah. maybe not. Depends on where you are at the stage, I guess. And it, True. Um, what stage you are. I've seen people die to like non-stale nine. Uh, not not die to non-stale nine. So that might be important. We haven't seen a nine and it's been a minute. Wow, both of these people have terrible luck. <laughs> oh, lucky. It depends how you look at it, Henri. It's all about Ah, uh, he tries the up air for the luck. Aeorin tries the taunt. It does not work. We get to see the player's um, favorite rituals to try and get a 9. Oh my god, N N neither of them still have gotten a 9 yet. This is crazy. Oh, oh, they're they're terrible luck. Oh my goodness, have you ever watched like, traditional sports? Yeah, what about no. traditional sports? So, I watch a bit of tennis, and oh! Oh, neutral B? Oh neutral no, B. Oh my. Oh, oh. okay, here's the first 9. Now. First 9 is there, alright. Blazed is does have a stale nine so it's this if this next one is a nine it's not going to kill okay he's in the clear all right this is how you settle laggy matches my friends anyways back the to optimal the, way the reason i was bringing up traditional sports is because oh my oh, blaze gets two nines in a row wow aeorn's luck looking really bad right now I think he's going to be at kill percent for another number at some point. Oh, okay, here's oh, a no nine. way! Or a stale 9. He, he, Blazer's just going to take it. Okay. AR finally gets his first 9, alright. Yeah. Aorin's first 9. It's a 6. A 5. <laughs> An illegal up tilt. What happens in a game and watch Shido if you hit him with a move that, you know. I, don't know. I, I I think I'm gonna have to settle it out later. Yeah. But but I think it's gonna be like if you hit a if you hit your opponent with an illegal move or you skip a turn, oh. you will have to you will have to SD. Right. That will be the rule. Right. There's a lot of grime in this game and watch it though. Oh my crouching. god. There's hitting with other moves that aren't side B. Yeah. They're like Yeah, just look at them. They're they're trying to win. They're still trying to win the game. They're still trying to win as much as possible, right? But, but they they have there's nothing they can do about it. Oh my oh, god! The nine is tail. Blaze is still going to live. He's going closer to the edge of the stage. A nine might not kill here. Okay. The one. All right. Ah, uh, the taunt not gonna work out. Getting this is close. Eight. This is somewhat close, even though we said that. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh, that's illegal! That's illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal, my friends. Henri, as the executive tournament organizer slash commentator slash oh, that, that, that game will go to Blazed because he... That, that was illegal. You're, you're not allowed to do that, you know? Okay. Alright. Okay. So now we'll go up and even the set back to 1 1. I wonder if he just gave up. No clue. <laughs> In any case, it's going to settle it. Alright. So right now, I'll pass on my commentary to an uh, orange here. In the Discord call, and he he will he will commentate this uh, wonderful match from from here on out. You could join us for this one. Well, I, I yeah I could. Yeah, oh, cast this one. Oh my god, he he already just killed him, man. Oh, oh wow! Whoa, back to back. <laughs> these these guys w with the uh, RNG manipulation. Have yeah. any of them pulled out the avatar avatar state uh strat yet? No, not yet. No, not yet. Maybe they're just saving it up for um, a final blow. Yeah, they've kind of just been doing everything that isn't the Avatar state. We've seen crouching, we've seen taunts, we've seen with smash attacks, <laughs> we've seen chefs, but we haven't seen somebody try to enter the Avatar state. I don't think they know how to do it. <gasps> oh no, that's illegal. They are playing like, like it's a real match. 
I can't really. Alright. Well, they're very like, quick with much. these. Usually when I do this, I, I take a long time to like build up each one. Right. Well, it seems like both of them have oh, their luck on point for you. You really need to reinforce how these are carried out, or are you a best of five RPS? That's what we did in our Guilty Gear tournament. <laughs> oh my god. Best of five RPS using a browser client is actually kind of hype. <laughs> hey, look at Blaze. He's actually taking away center stage from Aorin, so his nine will actually kill sooner. Whoa, he whiffs, he whiffs his nine. Why? Able to kill with six too. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, uh, oh no, he's trying to go for a pot shot. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't think the players do either. All right, they, they need to hit, just continue hitting the side B. All right, no, Aoran, Aoran SD's because Blaze with the side B. Blaze so was using the down nine. gesture over to Aoran to enter the blast zone. Yes. This could also be good for Aoran who resets his RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <gasps> oh! Ooh. Okay. Oh. I guess Aoran yeah, just hit the Yep. Well, he took the, took the L from getting hit by the 9. So this stat will go to Blaze, and from here on out, our friend Oranger will commentate the rest of the games. Exactly two minutes long, wow. Peace, Henri. Yes, peace, my friends. What's up, Orange? Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. I am fine on this wonderful evening. Weather's not too bad. Oh. So I can appreciate it from inside my room. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, what set are we... What, what set's coming up next? I believe this is a match between Noodle and somebody else. Noodle has been waiting to be on stream. Okay. Um, I don't know who his opponent is, but I can check the bracket. Yeah, I have it up here. Um, yeah, it. Noodles and Midoriya. Wow. Ah, okay, okay. I wonder where that's from. <laughs> it, it's the color. It's definitely the color. Yes. I don't know, green is kind of a bomb color. Wouldn't you say so yourself, orange? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I have, um... Not a great association with the color green, as many, uh, Singaporean guys... Uh... Do, do army, but... Otherwise, green is okay. Uh, right, I keep forgetting... The... That you guys have to do... You guys are conscripted. Mm-hmm. That does actually... Kind of... How do you guys feel about that, I guess? If you don't uh, mind me. Well... I think most people think it's like... The mo the biggest problem is it's two years. So it's just... Mm -hmm. It's so long. Right. Oh, here's the bracket. Okay. Courtesy of Coral. So... The thing about uh, Midoriya is... Um, He's been changing his tag kind of a lot. I guess he forgot to change it on Smash GG. Oh. He now wants to be called Meteo. Wonder where that's from. Uh huh. Yeah. It could be from anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Just a generic side character. And uh, Noodles, I think, has been playing more often in NFC, so I'm actually a little bit more familiar with him now. Do you know what characters are in this pool? Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know 